All right, hey again, AP Chemistry. I am in the Unit 6 Important Information Part 2 notes, and I'm going to look at question number 9 and walk you through and talk you through that. So it says magnesium metal reacts with hydrochloric acid according to this balanced chemical equation. Mg solid plus 2HCl aqueous yields MgCl2 aqueous plus H2. And there's going to be some energy exchange. It says an experiment to determine the enthalpy change for this reaction, 0.158 grams of magnesium metal is combined with enough HCl, so I don't know how much HCl, to make 100 milliliters of solution in a coffee cup calorimeter. The HCl is sufficiently concentrated so that the Mg completely reacts. The temperature of the solution rises from 25.6 to 32.8 degrees Celsius as a result of the reaction. Find delta H for the reaction as written. And then it says use one gram per milliliter as the density of the solution. Specific heat of the solution is 4.18 joules per gram degree Celsius and the specific heat, and it's the specific heat of the solution. So remember as mentioned in class, you could use the mass of the solution is the mass of the solute plus the mass of the solvent. They also kind of already gave you that the solution is 100 milliliters, but just getting in the practice and the habit of figuring out the mass of the solution, I'm going to say that we dissolve this magnesium in 100 grams of water to get this solution. So my mass of my solution is going to be these two. That's going to be my M. The temperature increase, so I'm going to say M is going to be 100 0.158 grams. It's going to make no difference if you use 100 or 100.158 grams. For this calculation, the numbers won't be too off. But get in the habit of the mass of the solution is going to be the combined volumes or the combined amount, especially if we say the density is one gram per milliliter. So my mass is going to be of both of them because both of this, water and the magnesium, are involved, or water and hydrochloric acid are involved. The specific heat is 4.18 joules per gram degree Celsius because that's what they said. Delta T. There was a change in temperature, so we need to know by now that to calculate energy associated with temperature changes, I use Q equals MC delta T. So delta T is T final minus T initial, which is 32.8 degrees Celsius minus 25.6 degrees Celsius. Okay, that my delta T then becomes 32.8 minus 25.6, and I get 7.2 degrees Celsius. Now. Since temperature increased, since we have an increase in temperature, that means it feels hot. So the reaction must be exothermic if temperature increased. So this is going to be negative energy. So Q of the solution is going to be negative. So mass is 100.158 grams. C is 4.18 joules per gram degree Celsius. Delta T, 7.2 degrees Celsius. Multiplying all of these together, 100.158 times 4.18 times 7.2, I get, I'm going to make it negative, negative 3014.4 joules. Okay? It wants delta H. Delta H, remember, delta H of reaction is going to be Q over moles, or Q over N. Now, in, involved in the reaction is magnesium and hydrochloric acid. If I want delta H, I could have delta H of the reaction be equal to Q over moles of Mg or Q over moles of HCl. I don't have enough information to figure out the moles of HCl. I don't know its concentration, I don't know amount, but the only thing I got is that I have 0.158 grams of magnesium. So I'm going to do Q over moles of magnesium. To get moles of magnesium, you're going to do 0.158 grams of magnesium divided by the molar mass of magnesium, which is 24.3. And you get 0 0.0065 moles of magnesium. And now, if I want to solve for delta H, I'm going to take this number, negative 3014.4 joules, and divide it by 0 0.0065 moles. And I'll get my answer in joules per mole. I didn't specify what I wanted it in. If I want to kilojoules, I'll divide. But now I'll divide these two numbers. And I get 
Huge number, negative 463753.8 joules per mole. Sorry, this is getting all squished over here. All right, so I get this big number. And so now, done. That's my delta H. It's in joules per mole. If I wanted to convert that to kilojoules, I could divide that by 1,000. And so if I want to do delta H in kilojoules per mole, dividing this number by 1,000, it would be negative 463.8 kilojoules per mole if asked. Now, if you just use 100 because you assume that the temperature change was just in the solution, you should get about the same answer. If you show either work on the AP exam, you will be marked correct. All right, so this is just a quick example of solving for enthalpies of reactions and solutions using coffee cup calorimetry. Remember on page four where I walk us through, um, and I will walk us through again how to solve using Q Q equals MC delta T. I'm going to talk again that Q of reaction is negative Q of solution. And so delta H of reaction is going to be Q of the reaction over the moles of any of the reactant. That is how we solve for delta H.